Welcome to day seven at the Shell Eco Marathon. Today was the final day in which the green team Twente could set a result in the urban concept hydrogen category. We began the day very early in the morning setting the car up for what would be our last runs here in Rotterdam. In the afternoon, the H20 was ready to join the queue to go into the fueling tent. We stayed in this queue for quite a while until about 2 p.m., where the H20 finally departed the line on its second attempt. During this attempt, the H20 only managed to do four laps of the circuit before it stopped. As fast as possible, we moved the car to the start line for another attempt. During the second attempt, the H20 only did half a lap before it stopped. Unfortunately, we were not able to set a valid time at the 2015 Shell Eco Marathon. After the first attempt, we couldn't investigate the car. However, we did know it was safe to run for a second time. After the second failed attempt, we realized that the issue was actually with a hydrogen sensor on top of the vehicle, which triggered our emergency stop. Although this seemed like a hydrogen leak, our system was not leaking any hydrogen and it was an electrical issue. Although we did not set a valid result for the 2015 Shell Eco Marathon, we are not going to go home empty-handed. We were awarded an off-track award for our great work in communication. This was for all the work we've done through the year on the promotional front and social media. We would like to thank all the parties who made this happen. Thank you for following all our progress here at the 2015 Shell Eco Marathon. I would like to take this opportunity to thank all of our sponsors, who without them this would have never happened. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next year.